the literature of the Paris expatriate scene of the 1920s and 1930s continues to captivate both popular and scholarly audiences today. But according to modernist author Kay Boyle, you know, after, after realizing what they did to uh, the myth of the Paris in the 20s, I just wonder how we can believe anything at all. It's written about past times. In my project, I tackle some of the best known authors, literary texts, and scholarly trends of the modernist period in order to ask, what might we be missing when we stick too closely to existing narratives and well-known stories? These narratives are, to me, a little like train tracks. While they may sometimes guide important literary scholarship, they also have a tendency to limit outcomes and restrict exploration. My project thus takes an explicitly interdisciplinary approach. Beginning with a foundation of modernist literary work, I engage with concepts out of contemporary feminist studies and autobiographical work known as life writing in order to open up lines of inquiry that challenge standard tropes. In one portion of the project, for example, I consider Ernest Hemingway's autobiographical war writing using the framework moral repair out of feminist philosophy as a means for rethinking scholarship on Hemingway's masculinity and war trauma. In another portion, I review memoirs by Gertrude Stein and Margaret Anderson to consider their theorizing about queer community and modernist aesthetics. In doing this interdisciplinary work, I aim not to lay new tracks along the railroad of literary modernism. I'm in no way correcting this rich and extensive literary historical record. Instead, I want to forge toward untouched, even relegated spaces within and among fields. Ultimately, I want to agree with Kay Boyle in saying that we cannot trust everything that we've read. So we need to keep reading and keep innovating new reading practices. Feminist interdisciplinarity, as my project illustrates, provides one methodology for this important work. 